Yes, lads, Joe Bleen here, and today's episode 18 of Dare to Delhi. We've got nine goals to go, and if we can hit 75 likes or above on this episode, that would be absolutely smashing. So do me proud, lads, on this fine Friday midday lunchtime. So, yes, obviously this side of the team is we've got two upgrades in the bank. We're going to save them until we get to five upgrades, because I know what upgrades I want to do. So hopefully we can get them in this episode. Maybe we can get more. Let's see what happens. We come up against this Scottish slash Scottish League team and it's pretty decent it's pretty nice so obviously we've got to be wary for some it's not full chemistry which he could easily sort out if he wanted to sorry lads I was yawning a bit there but we go into this game after a nervy 30 minutes not side having any real chances we finally get put through Perez and Moscardelli linking up beautifully with a couple of passing one twos overs to each other Moscardelli putting it one nil up and that's one of the upgrades we are wanting at least in this episode so two more, and we've got the upgrades we need to go to the next stage. So can we do it in this episode? I'm not sure, but that's an absolutely beautiful turn by Florenzi. Florenzi just keeps the ball, throws it through to Mosca. Mosca in a tight gap, knocks it into that bottom corner again. He scored in the first goal for this episode. So, yeah, that's two for him already. The guy then, just burst before half-time, get a chance. We just failed to make it clear. It's very, very, very sloppy defending. Matthews managed to just dance around, gets a crossover, and that sheep jugger Russell is going to make it 2-1. Now, it would have been nice if we could have gone in at the half-time with a two-goal advantage, but instead, due to a bit of sloppy corner defending in the 45th, it's made it 2-1. And then, just after half-time, we did not come out starting properly because Kale whips in an absolute peach of a shot, and I cannot be... Annoyed with that cross come shot there because that is brilliant. And that's pretty much how it went then because we just went to throw it away. As you can see here, most of the goals we can see in this, it's absolutely shocking defending on that part. And we need to ready up it. And Kyle with almost an identical goal to his first one. That cross come shot, catching Farman out again and we go 3-2 down. And we can't do anything, lads. We absolutely threw that away. We went 2-0 up. Moscow getting the two. And then we just threw it away. Kale with two brilliant, brilliant cross-come shots. And we know we need to sort that out. Because that's something that's been our problem in all this series now. We've been throwing leads away. We've been underestimating opponents. And we just need to stop it. And we come up against Rastaman FC. And he's got a pretty nice team, actually. I'm not looking forward to facing them. Strikers in Hesse and Abongla Hall, though. And I... Howard's in goal to give him an extra line of defence, so it's going to be a tough game, I like the last game, but once again, as always, we start brightly, around the 30 minute mark, knocking over, finding Moreno, and Moreno making it 1-0, hopefully, hopefully we can go on and win this game instead, because we deserve to, we only need one goal for Moscardelli, at least this episode for me now, and I just feel Farmer should have done better there from that shot. Farmer's letting me down. Farmer's annoying me. And it's one of the reasons I want to change the lineup. I know he hasn't been here that long, but he's just annoying me and I want to get it changed in. Moscow to take the shot. It's a big save. And we're just trying hard and hard and hard to break this gap to make sure we can get a winner before extra before the ninth minute. Moscow again is another save. We can't break them out. They're not necessarily the hardest of shots. But we just, like, we need to break him. And then once again, the knife, and it's another save from Howard, and it's cleared. And the game does go to extra time. And on the 99th minute, Florenzi gets put through forward. Moscardiff on the 1 2 takes it. He gets a bit lucky there, but I'm saying that's his pure strength that he's done it to make it 2 1 in the 99th minute. And that is the five upgrades we've been wanting to change what we're going to change for next episode, lads. But the guy's just going to score with 10 minutes to go, a quick fire treble to make the game 4-2. And we absolutely threw the lead away there. We did lose the first game though, as well anyway. So it's not like we could have opened a pack. But it's not great for the record, because that's two losses this episode. Luckily, it's uh, three upgrades on top of the two upgrades in the bank. So you will be seeing five upgrades made to this squad in the next episode, lads. So I hope you come back on Monday to see that. We've only got what... Six goals to go for Moscow now. Yeah, we're six goals away from the end. So come meet me on Monday to see if I can score them six in one episode. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. We'll have to see what happens. But leave a like if you enjoyed this. Come find me on Twitter at JBHD. I shall be back home from Leeds now, so I'll be able to start getting reviews up for you later on the weekend. And I'll see you all later.